Let's start today with our art prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, help me to create wonderful things. Thank you for my talents. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Today, we're going to learn about the artist Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, 1907, and she passed away on July 13, 1954. Frida lived most of her life in Mexico City. At the age of six, she became disabled by the disease polio, which kept her in bed rest for nine months. At, the age, at age 18, she was again disabled in a terrible bus accident, which kept her in a hospital bed for three months. At this time, she dove into her love for art, and she even had an easel made for her hospital bed so she could work while she was laying. She later married the successful artist Diego Rivera. Diego got a job to paint a mural in San Francisco, California. They lived there for three years, but Frida missed home. She missed her Mexican culture, and they later moved back to Mexico City. Here are some of Frida Kahlo's paintings. They are all self-portraits. A self-portrait is a portrait of the artist created by the artist. You may notice that she has a lot of animals in her self-portraits. These are her pets. She had monkeys, dogs, birds, and even a deer. Today, we are going to create a tropical bird with a leaf background inspired by our artist Frida Kahlo. A quote from Frida is, I am not sick. I am broken but I am happy to be alive as long as I can paint. Today, we're gonna learn how to draw a bird just like Frida Kahlo. So all you're gonna need is a white piece of paper. Your white piece of paper should be vertically, which is up and down. I would start out in pencil if I was drawing from home, I'm going to do it in Sharpie so you can see it. So we're going to start off by drawing our bird because that's what's in front of everything. So to start off our shape for our bird, make sure you're in a pencil because you're going to need to erase. I'm not going to be able to erase because I'm using a Sharpie, so make sure you have a pencil at home. So what we're going to do to start the shape of our bird is we're going to create its head, like the top of its head, and go all the way down to its back tail feathers. So I'm going to start right up here. I'm going to curve it down just like this. So I kind of have a hill, and it just goes straight down and curves out. Then what I'm going to do is for the front of the bird, I'm going to create a straight line, and then I'm going to curve it in for the bottom of the bird. So I'm going to go straight and curve curve it in just like that then I'm gonna need to create the wings so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start right out here and I'm almost gonna make like a leaf shape I'm gonna bring that out here connect it to the end then if you want you can erase this line here and angle it up a little more but I'm gonna leave it because I can't erase and I'm gonna create the longer feathers coming down right here. So I'm going to create one, two, three, and I want this one to be one in the background just kind of overlapping. So I added texture to mine. You could do this when you're adding the color if it's easier, or if you're gonna outline it in a darker marker, maybe you use the darker marker for this. So I'm going to create the texture to make it seem like these are feathers, like extra long feathers. I'm going to draw a line down them and draw my lines. Kind of like a leaf's vein is how you're going to create that texture and detail in your 
feathers. Alright, now that we have our feathers, we're going to come over and we're going to do the beak for our bird. You could have a little beak, a big beak, a pointy beak, a rounded beak. It kind of depends on what kind of tropical bird you're creating. I like to draw a line down the middle to, so it's open. And I also like to draw the nose circle right here for my bird because they breathe out of their nose. Out Birds breathe out of their beak. And then I'm going to come and I want to create a white spot. I might keep this one a little more simple than my other sample. I'm going to make this one just a triangle. I'm going to create the circle for his eye with the tinier circle and the dot for the pupil. Then I'm going to create the feathers sticking up on the bird's head. I'm going to do these ones a little differently so you can see different ways to create the feathers on your bird. All right, we have feathers on our bird's head and I'm also going to create the branch that my bird is sitting on. And those little tiny branches sticking out of it as well. I'm gonna create my bird's feet, which is kind of like claws or talons. So they're gonna just curve over the branch, keeping my bird nice and on the branch. All right, now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna kind of create feathers in my bird to make just more detailed. So I might add some more feathery lines into here. Just adding more detail to my bird. We're gonna add lots of detail and color to our birds to make them look very interesting. I wanna create separations of different colors. So that's why I'm kind of making some dividings for the head, maybe for the belly as well. And then I'm going to come in and maybe create some different kinds of feathers. You can kind of come up with your own very cool details for your bird's feathers. Or you can copy some of mine if you're inspired. All right, now that my bird is filled with a lot of different textures for their feathers, I'm gonna work on drawing the different leaves and flowers in my background. You can have all sorts of different leaves and flowers in your background. These are just some examples I came up with, but you can come up with your own if you'd like. If you wanna have all leaves, no flowers, you are welcome to. If you wanna have all flowers, no leaves, that could look really cool too. 
I'm going to start off with my flower so you can kind of have an idea of how to create that. So I'm going to create a shape like that. I'm just going to connect it here and repeat that same shape. And all the petals don't have to be the same. I'm also making them kind of come off my page. Create my center. And come back and finish off my petals. All right, so I have my flower. Then I'm going to show you I really enjoyed making these little leaves right here. So I'm going to show you. I did that because it's really simple. I'm just going to do a squiggly line. And I'm going to start with tiny circles. And I'm just going to get bigger as I go down. And you can repeat that over here. Start small and get bigger. They could be oval, they could be circle. It just kind of depends what you prefer. I'm gonna create my big, huge, giant leaf right here in the background. I'm gonna copy that one again. Start with that line. And then I'm gonna come in, I'm just gonna branch off those individual leaves. And I'm also gonna be working small to big. To big. If you notice, I might come in contact with certain things and I want to make it in the background, so I just kind of stop it right here so that the bird can overlap that leaf. Which will create a lot of depth in your artwork and look really nice. Same with coming off my page. Don't really want to shove it so it fits on there, just kind of use that to make it bigger. Creates a lot going on in your project, which is pretty cool. Done with that one and now I'm going to show you how I made these leaves right over here. They're really simple and I really like them and you can do a bunch or a little. I'm going to kind of create like a raindrop shape. Draw my line down the middle for the veins. And create the different sections of veins. There we go, we have plenty of different leaves in there. Let's create a few more of them coming off the page. And behind my bird. All right, so I finished drawing my bird and all my leaves. And now it's time to color. So you can get very colorful with this. I wanted my bird to almost kind of look like a parrot. So I actually did rainbow order from top to bottom. You don't have to do that. You could do bright colors that you like. It doesn't have to be a real kind of looking bird, but if you would like to maybe copy a type of bird that you know, that would be a really cool idea and have it be really realistic. When I colored, I used colored pencils, and I'm going to show you again how to color neatly and completely. So when you're coloring in this leaf right here, this is not done. That's not neatly and completely. I know you are all capable of doing a lot better and neater job. So I'm gonna come in, Gonna keep filling it in, filling all those little white spots. I don't wanna see any of the white. All right, that looks so much better. So make sure when you're coloring your tropical bird, you're doing it neatly and completely. I am so excited to see what your tropical birds look like when you're all done. I'm really excited to see all the different textures and feathers you created in your bird, as well as all the different leaves and flowers you came up with. One last thing. 
Please don't forget to put your name and grade at the top of your paper. So I can know the wonderful artist that created this piece of artwork. Thanks guys.